Hello friends, in today's video, I will be talking about what is user flow in UX design, examples of user flow and how you create user flow diagram, the tools which you use for creating the diagrams. Also, when to create user flow diagram and difference between user flow and user journey. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon for similar UX informative videos and hit the like icon if you like the video. So let's start. So what is user flow? The user flow is that what path the user takes to accomplish a goal or to navigate through your website or app, prompting the creation of user flow. So basically this path is divided into series of steps that user takes from the entry point through conversion or towards the final action, like from signing up in the e-commerce website till purchasing that product. So let's look at an example of a user flow. The first step would be the user starts on the home page of your e-commerce website. The second step would be from the home page, the user navigates to a product category page. In the third step, in product category page, the user selects specific item and navigates to the item details page. In the fourth step, on the item details page, the user adds an item to the cart and navigates to the cart page, right? In the fifth step, from the cart page, the user navigates to the checkout page. And in the last, from checkout page, the user completes the purchase and sees a confirmation message. So in this example, if we see, it's a very straightforward flow what user has gone through in a very simple way. But in other scenarios, there would be different path that user can take to accomplish a goal. Like the user can, the user wants to compare different products. He wants to read information about delivery and so on, or he will just add to the cart. He will not check out. He will check out later, you know, so on. That's why the user flow has typically modeled as flow charts with many nodes for various path that user might take. So now let's see how to create a flow diagram or user flow diagram or a flow chart. Before we look an example for the flow diagram, let's look the components of a flow diagram that it consists of. The shapes in the flow diagram that has some meaning to it, right? So you need to adhere to these steps. So if you see the shape, the first one, so whenever you see the rounded corner box, that would mean be start or stop. So it marks the start and end of the user flow. And whether it's typical rectangle or a not rounded corner, I would say. So it indicates like the typical steps, step one, step two, step three. And wherever you see the diamond shape, it indicates a choice or a decision point for the user. And obviously the arrow which indicates the flow of the symbol, the arrow can be right, up, bottom and top, right? So let's look at an example of the flow diagram. So let's have a look uh, flow diagram about the card payment that user needs to do. So the user starts with the login page and then there's a login flow. So if there's yes, that the flow would have a different, you know, the view account details, pay credit card, which amount to pay. And again, there are two paths again. So one is a balance or a minimum payment due. So user will select payment account, select payment post date, review account, review and submit and confirmation. And the other path, like the user has other account, if the payment is less than minimum due, show notice or the other messages, right? So there will be different flows, right? So this is how you create a flow diagram. So here are some top five free tools to create user flows. First one is just in mind. Second one, Timbly. Third one, flow map. Fourth one, overflow. And the fifth one, wire flow. These are the simple tools you can used for creating the user flows and journey maps. So let's see when should you use user flows or when you should create user flows. So user flows are beneficial when a product team works on information architecture that is IA or the UI design of each screens. So now let's see what is the difference between user flow, task flow or journey map, user journey map. So the only difference is that in user flow, it is a simple process or simple path that user takes to accomplish a goal. Like what I showed in the example, when user is trying to purchase any product from e-commerce site, he lands to home page, he goes to product page, 
add to cart and then purchase very simple process whereas the user journey is about the emotions or the pain points that user faces while accomplishing the same goal for more details about the customer journey map or the user journey map you can watch the video that i have created earlier that would help you to understand the customer journey more in detail so once again thank you for watching this video and please share your comments if you have any any queries or hit the like button if you have liked the video